Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Two Bald Guys and Jesus, where Christ is king and hair does, does not, not matter. matter. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Welcome back. Your Glad you could be here. Still in the I'm screen. sorry if it's, my cookie it's, is in it's the as screen. Though, it's as though Leave your hands off my have cookie. I COVID, have I COVID contrary? No, but I see you coveting. I was coveting the COVID see, of the cookie. Yeah. So coveting. leave my cookie alone, hey. bottom line. That yeah, is mine. I, it's a preacher cookie, and you didn't preach today, so. Next week. So you're gonna, saving it. You're going to save it for next week? Yeah, probably All right, not. preach cookie yeah. for next week. Yeah. How are you doing today? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah. So, so this is Two Bald Guys in Jesus, where we love to uh, tell you about what's going on here in Solomon. Right. And encourage you to come and join. But next week, we want to talk about what we're doing. You're going into... Romans. Romans. Still in Romans. I mean, not in going into it, but like going to hang out there for a while. Yeah. I think last week you coined the phrase, wrestling through Romans. Uh, yeah. And that's pretty much it. I mean... Uh, that was my phrase, by the way. You just, I know. I said you coined it. it. Oh, okay. We get a coin? No. Oh, Okay. I was giving you credit. Oh, you were giving. Oh, yeah, okay. Saying, in so, other words, I was saying, "Good job, Robert." Oh, I need more. There, there you yeah. go. I make sense. Okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry. yeah. So so right. anyway, anywho. <laughs> so yeah. So we're in Romans. Yes. Um, yet again. I think you stopped. Did you stop at eighteen, or did you add nineteen, verse nineteen in? Well, I think I stopped at eighteen, but I think that I'm going to go back to verse seventeen. Ah, you're picking up And then up pick up from there. Yeah, because that verse 17 is just really a super profound, um, a profound verse. And, and that's really going to lead us into the rest of chapter one. And then we'll see how far I get. You know, I'm really hoping to get into chapter two. That'd be awesome. Yeah, no, but, but we'll see. We'll I, see. I think so. That's good for us for homework wise. For us for, then to, to pick up at 17 and kind of read through that, you think read definitely through all of chapter one. And yeah, I think one and two. Spend one some and time two, in yeah. chapter two. I, okay. And you know, I really got to get to three because I just can't leave people hanging in chapter yeah. two. You know what I'm saying? Well, you did really good last time. What did you go to? You went to eight? Eight. You yeah, I think eight, it was eight something. Eight sixteen was it? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So you, you brought us, you, you did, you, you nailed it at eight sixteen. But um, I think you're right. It's it's hard. It's uh, hard, to, eight, it's eight, hard to hang in two, man. Yeah. So, well, that's exciting. Well, we'll be praying about that. Um, can we start? I know we've been telling people about how is the your prayer journey going we're doing a 40-day prayer yeah you know that is going really cool um i love it god has something new to show to me every day um without exception i mean he reveals more and more like you know yesterday i think one of the the verses was out of john chapter 9 a small verse out of that but i read the whole chapter and it's just amazing you know what god is showing in that whole chapter and how that's pertaining to us you know and it's one of the things that I really liked in that, and I was talking about when, when Christ made the mud um, and put it on the blind man's eyes, and then the blind man went off, did what Christ said, was well, said on his, on his way back from the pool, on his way back he began mm -hmm. to see again. Yeah, after the obedience. Yeah. yeah. And it, it just wasn't like, okay, I'm washing my eyes. Oh, now I can see. Yep. Right? It was on the way back. So while he was still wandering mm. back, after he washed his eyes, he began to see. It's being revealed. Yeah, right there. God, yeah. God, the gospel of God, the righteousness of God is revealed. Um, and it's that unfolding. It is a from glory to glory. Glory to which glory. Is, yeah, yep. Second Corinthians chapter 3 it just it pounds out that idea that just do what you know today. Yeah. Continue to do that. Yeah. Um, so when it comes to us and, and where God wants us to be, you know, we have no idea where we're going to be. I mean, we do, but we have no idea where God is going to be moving us, right? Yeah. All we're, all we're doing, and how many times have we talked about this, all our desire is to move forward with God. Yes. And to allow Him to have that lead no matter where it is, right? That's, yeah. That's, so we don't know if it's going to be at the bar. I right. mean, we feel led in that direction, but yeah. if it does happen, we don't know when. Yeah. So all we do until that day comes is we continue to walk forward in that obedience. But we've got to walk forward in that obedience. So you did share something this today, though, about that. Yeah, yeah. Was that just on your heart today? It was. It was really? Yeah, okay, yeah. so he shared, he really feels, hopefully, by the end of the summer. Was that the statement? That's, that's really, that's what I'm feeling, you know. God doesn't want us, 
God gives us the desires of our heart, you know, as we seek after him. And I really feel, I feel God moving, obviously mm -hmm. in the church, but you know, he's just laid on me. By the end of the summer, we're gonna be in somewhere. And I don't know if it's the bar, I don't know if it's the, the bubble, I don't know what, but we're gonna be somewhere. And that's gonna be our new temporary permanent home. New temporary permanent or permanent home. temporary permanent, home. Permanent temporary home. Amen. Yeah. It is not permanent. It is only one home. Yeah. Uh, and God's preparing that for us right now. So Isn't that awesome? It is. I think He has a plan. Maybe it'd be a weird statement to say this, but I'm going to say it. Okay. Maybe our new our new permanent home by then. I'm ready for God to come. Oh yeah. So there you go. Yeah. I'm not making some weird prediction. Well, it doesn't even say that no one knows the hour of the day. So exactly. I guarantee so, so, it's not yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah. So. so it's not the day I'm thinking <laughs> there of. There you go, for sure. Yeah. So, well, what an exciting thing. Yeah, so. uh, I, I heard that today when you said yeah. that. I was like, oh. God just really got, I mean, it's not just been this week. I mean, it's been kind of a, this building thing over the probably the past few weeks where he just he keeps showing me in my prayer. And, yeah. you know, every time, especially going through the study that we're going through as leadership. Um, he's just really showing me the end of summer, end of the summer. I'll get you there. So that's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. So we'll see. I'm really excited we'll see. about that. Well, um, I have a question for today. Okay. So we are, we are very different people. Yes. In a good way, but we're still brothers or, you know, yes. Yeah. But have, we are different. Have you ever I'm better had, looking. have you? Have you ever had a manicure? No. <laughs> Have you? I went and got yes. one done. <laughs> Did you get a petty too? No, I didn't get a pedicure. I went and got a manicure though. Are you supposed to look at it this way? Yeah. What's the difference between this and this? Lots. Is there? Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. not even gonna ask because yeah. I don't know. No, I did. So I grew up, my mom was a manicurist. Really? Yeah. And okay. so I get one all the time. And it feels awesome with your nails being cleaned and, and they clean them and they trim them and, and they're a little bit shiny. They are kind of shiny. They are kind of shiny. You like a high gloss? They, they didn't there? mean for it to be this shiny. But the idea is it make your nail really strong and it, okay. it cleaned up. So it's a guy's manicure. That's very pretty. You have to understand, we are very different in a lot of different things, right? We are very different. I mean, you're like in guy, inside guy, no bugs. I hate West bugs. Coast. I hate dirt. I'm like East Coast outside. Yeah, you're East in Coast. In the dirt. You like ride large horses. bugs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. So, but never manicure. Would you ever get one with no. me? No, I don't think I would. Definitely not a pedicure because people touch my feet and I just want to punch them. <laughs> just throat punch, Are you man. serious? Oh, yeah. Don't even... Don't even think about touching my feet because even when you think about it, I'll throat punch you. It just doesn't happen. So, what about washing your feet? Well, I, yeah, I mean, I, I wash my feet. But, but like, would no, you let, would you let man, your brother, brother wash God, your feet? Why are you putting me in this situation, man? I did, did, Will, I'll edit this out. Oh, no one's gosh, watching. no. I just, so. I can't even, oh my <laughs> gosh. I can't even imagine that. All right. You can do it in spirit. How's uh, that? That's a no-go, huh? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's it. My brother won't let me wash his feet. I mean, just to... Just, just say, brother, I'm washing your feet in my mind. Kind of like an air hug. You know, COVID. COVID, COVID rule prevents you from washing my oh, feet. Oh! How's okay. that? Okay, so as soon as the COVID goes away... I didn't say that. That's the excuse I'm using right now. <laughs> So, if you would like to see a live action foot washing um, <laughs> and boxing match at the same time, <laughs> just post and comment below. <laughs> well, that's it. I think that's 10 minutes. Thank you so much. We're ending on a foot. We're ending note. on a footnote. <laughs> That was good. Yeah. Then they got a footnote. Two for that. bald guys and one comedian hey. calling it a day. Hey, call it a day. Uh, where Christ is king, and hair, hair doesn't, doesn't matter. matter, and feet aren't the topic. Exactly, All Mr. Right. Manny. There it is. Love, Love you guys. It. Bye, guys.